I was recently involved in a new product launch for a business that I'm working on, and we could tell that the launch wasn't going the way we wanted. It just, for whatever reason, I've done hundreds of product launches in my life. This one, for whatever reason, just wasn't working right. And we had a choice. We could either just keep going through the set of things that we were gonna do, or we could make changes. And the question really is, can you make changes on the fly? So what did we do? We decided, you know what? We know if we keep going on the course that we're on, things aren't gonna work out the way that we want. We gotta make changes, and we did. And what's interesting is, in this launch that we did, there was a dramatic shift by not going crazy, not going nuts, not freaking out, but just methodically and simply making some changes to what we were doing. In other words, going back to the basics. When you try things and you think things are gonna work a certain way, and we had already done some launches in this business before, and we knew what had worked, and we thought we're gonna make some improvements. And guess what happened with all the improvements? As I was saying, they all failed. So we said, you know, we gotta make some changes here. And we went back to what we were doing previously and the results were dramatically improved. Now the launch in terms of, was it 100% successful? I can't say that because it wasn't. But we saved something from being a disaster to, to, to turning it into a moderate success, not by making wholesale, wholesale changes, but just by making some simple changes in terms of what we needed to do, and we saw dramatic results. So this is the point to you. When something isn't working, don't just sit there. Don't just wait. Don't do nothing. At the same time, don't freak out either and make 50 changes. Go back to the basics. Go simple. And I think you'll see success. That's what we did. And I think it'll work for you too. I'm Brett at brettjfox.com. Have a great, great day.